Hey guys, Hardy here from ecomhardy.com and in this video we're going to compare the Shopify plans and we'll show you which plan is the best for your business needs and how to save money with Shopify. So make sure you watch this video till the end if you're planning to start the new business or the dropshipping business or the online store business, then this video will be definitely helpful to you. Now let's get started. If I go to shopify.com, it will look something like this one. If I go to pricing here, then I can see all the pricing plans and I can compare them straight away. And also you see here, Shopify offers the free trial for three days and one month for just $1, which is good. So you can get an idea, but I have affiliated with Shopify to make sure you get even better advantage than this one. So if I go to ecomhari.com forward slash Shopify and enter, then you will get this promo offer that is get your first three months for just one dollar per month and earn up to ten thousand dollars in credit what it means is sign up for free trial and your first three months is just one dollar per month then you earn one percent for every sale as a credit to use on your shopify subscription that will pay your shopify plan by itself so this is definitely a good deal compared to if you go to directly on shopify.com it won't give you this better deal but anyway you can choose any of these plans directly when you go to ecomhari.com forward slash shopify and if you simply enter your email address and start a trial you can pick and choose the relevant plan accordingly you will have entire three months to decide which plan you want to go with and then after you can switch to any plan you want anyway let me go back and now let me go to the plans for selling in person so if you're the person who are selling in person and you're not selling online then the starter plan can be suitable to you because it's only seven dollars per month and you can sell on the social media platforms as well as you have one pos login where you can sell the items in person of course it will have a limited online store and it will not have the full-fledged online capacity but for the physical stores who are selling small then this plan would be suitable to them and it's very cheap as well for the big retail stores of course this plan would be better because it offers for the 129 dollars per month you have selling in retail store plan where the card rates are cheaper instead of 5%, it is now 1.75% plus 30 cents online. The unlimited POS logins available. So if you have big staff in your physical store, then it will be very helpful to you. It has limited online store features, so you will not get full-fledged advantages of the online store, but still some physical big stores go to this plan. But now if you're planning to sell online as well as offline, then definitely you have to check it out all these plans okay here is the comparison for all the plans with features basic plan you can get it for 42 australian dollars per month of course you can change the currency at any point if you're signing up from the other countries than australia then definitely the prices would be in us dollar or your currency now i would definitely go with the basic plan if i want to just start out and if i don't know much about shopify and uh, if i don't know my business will grow in next year or not online store all the plans covers the online store where you can build your online store which is feature rich including all the product collections informational pages blogs etc so you can create a fully functional website on your shopify plan world's best converting checkout if i open my website so this is the shopify website if i go to the checkout page here this is the checkout page looks like of course you can change the colors of the checkout page you can change the logo and everything and the basic structure is proven very nice and it is most converting it is for the customer point of view it is very easy you can see here you have express checkout options available customer don't have to fill out everything and they can just simply pay via shop pay paypal gpay apple pay etc or they can just go ahead and fill out their information here and also they have options to we can choose like deliver shipping or pick up in store australia or they can choose the country or region and then fill out the information here they can pay via credit card or paypal and then pay the order very easy to use unlimited products even though you have thousands of products you don't have to worry about shopify plan any of this plan you go with basic plan still it covers and you can sell as many products as you want additional staff account if you are a sole trader if you are just one person this basic plan would be okay and suffice to your business if you are a small company where you are employing less than five people then definitely you have to go with 
the Shopify plan, of course, where you can get five staff accounts. If you are a large company where you have more than 15 employees, then of course, you can definitely pay 2300 USD per month. Analytics, all these plans offer the standard analytics as well as on the advanced plan, plus plan, you get custom reports, which is very important for your store. You want to track the data of your store performance and identify the opportunities to optimize. 24 seven customer support with the basic and the Shopify plan, you get live chat support, which is more than enough for me because every time I had some issues, I went through the live chat and I always got my issue resolved very quickly. Tax platform, I do not care about this one. If you are if you are just a sole trader or just a one person company, but if you grow, eventually you always thinking about getting these additional paid services, which makes calculation of accurate taxes on every order easier. Now hosting and administration, all the plan covers unlimited web hosting where you can have the fastest load time compared to the WooCommerce or WordPress, which I do not like it when I host my website to the different hosting services and my website slows down a lot. Whereas here with the Shopify, I found one thing very good that the website speed is way faster than WordPress. Custom domain, you can have your own existing domain or you can purchase your own domain through the Shopify ads as well. So that means like if you have domain you purchase from the different domain service registrar like Namecheap or something, you can always connect your domain to Shopify. If you don't know how to do it, I have created the separate video for that. So if you check it out, the link given in description below. Free SSL certificate, which is must have for online store and it is included in the any of the plans. Check out capacity. It has the standard checkout capacity for the basic and Shopify plan, which means how many people can do checkout at the same time. The checkout capacity increases where you go with the higher plans. In-person selling, Shopify offers free of cost Shopify POS Lite option. I love it. I use this app on my day-to-day -day basis because I have customer visits and customer purchase directly from my physical store. So I create the order using this app as well. I send them invoices directly from that. Shopify POS Pro where you get enhanced features with the Pro plan. So if you are a big company, definitely this one will be helpful. Marketing, you can import unlimited contacts to your Shopify account. You can create newsletters. You can send Shopify emails to your customers or visitors or subscribers and you get up to 10,000 emails per month for free of cost. After that, you still can send the emails to your customers or subscribers for a very low rate. You can attract, acquire and convert new customers with the free lead capture solution. Although it says though, I do not like Shopify form. Personally, I use the alternative options. Shopify inbox. I don't know why they name it Shopify inbox, but the real name it should be is the Shopify chat where you can add the chat functionality to your Shopify store and the customers or visitors can chat directly with you using that function. Marketing automation is like engaging the customers at every stage of their journey with automated marketing workflows. This makes it very easy in Shopify and you can create the marketing emails within the Shopify itself. But if you are willing to go with the enhanced features, then definitely I would recommend you getting the third party app involved where you can control more features. Abandoned checkout recovery, you can recover the abandoned carts, which is very important for you if you're running an e-commerce business. So if your customers reach the checkout page, try to fill out all the information and then after they decide not to purchase at the same time and they do not pay for the checkout, then this feature will remind them and this way you will recover the abandoned checkouts and increase the revenue. Discount codes, you can create how many discount codes you want and there is the fixed value discount, percentage discount, shipping discounts available product wise and collection wise. Gift cards, you can create the gift cards as well in all of these plans. So you don't need the separate app involved. Shopify payments, if you are just a basic online store, then definitely prices are okay for you. Like domestic card rates are 1.75 percent plus 30 cents if customer is paying through amx card then yes the rates are a little bit higher and you can see all the rates comparison here third party transaction fees if you are not using the shopify shop pay or shopify integrated payments Shopify payment will charge extra two percent for the basic plan 
for Shopify plan, they charge 1% extra. Fraud analysis is available in all these plans, so you don't have to worry about the online frauds. Shopify shipping, this is my favorite feature. You can get great discounted rates on the shipping directly from the Shopify. You can generate the shipping labels directly from your Shopify store. So when you receive the order, you can create the shipping label directly from there, print it out to your printer and good to go. To be honest, I found these rates are much cheaper compared to the third-party apps. This is the cool feature where you can connect your store and sell directly on the marketplaces like eBay, Amazon, Etsy, etc. as I discussed before. And also like up to first 50 Shopify Sync orders, you don't have to pay anything. After 50 orders, they charge you 1% per order up to 99 USD per month, which is not bad pricing. You have a lot of third-party apps to integrate with. You can customize your store. You can automate a lot of tasks like you can create the workflows and you can set your Shopify store into automation and you can save a lot of time with the e-commerce automation. You can create the custom apps as well. But of course, with the basic plan, it has the limited data access. If you want full data access, then you have to go with the higher plans. API rate limits with the basic and Shopify plans, you get the standard limit, whereas higher plans have more limits. Headless storefronts, you get at least one headless storefront in all the plans where you can build a custom storefront with hydrogen and Shopify's React-based toolkit and deploy on Oxygen. Shopify's free global hosting solution. Let's talk about international. You can have the leverage of language translation. You can enable the multiple languages on your storefront. So if your customers are non-English customers, like they are different language speakers, then also you can take an advantage of selling to them. Currency conversion, if you are offering your items to different countries and different currencies, then also it is making it very easier. So automatically convert the prices into customers' local currency where they can purchase. Localized selling with custom markets. You can manage the global sales all from single store with cross-border international sales tools target specific countries or regions offering the customized highly converting shopping experience with the basic plan and shopify plan they give three markets included whereas if you want more than three markets then of course you have to go with the higher plan product pricing by market you get this feature for free of cost local payment methods you get this feature as well for free of cost local domains you get this feature as well so if you are selling in australia and your website name is chikimiki.com.eu. If you're selling in US, your website might be chikimiki.com. If you're selling in India, your website would be chikimiki.in. So on that, that way you can show local domains to your customers, whereas you are handling all this from one Shopify account. Amazing feature. Duties and import taxes is not included in this one, but if you're selling in multiple currencies and multiple countries. And if your inventory are in different countries, different locations available, then of course, I would recommend with advanced plan. This is only for plus. So these features are only covered under the plus plan and first three plans doesn't include any of these features. So if you check it out, but of course, if you're not planning to go with the plus, then you don't have to worry about any of this. So that's it. That are all the plans I have covered which offered by Shopify. Don't forget to check it out the first three months for just $1 per month and also on up to $10,000 worth of credit. And if you're planning to switch from WordPress, definitely you will be amazed with Shopify because I am amazed and I have more than three stores now. If you have any questions or suggestions or if you need help developing your Shopify store, always check it out my website, ecomhardy.com, where I provide the free tools and services on my website. You can check out all these e-commerce tools for free of cost and it will help you to enhance your e-commerce business journey. Also, you can go to Shopify and make a website tab where you can go through the steps provided here. Each steps help you to create your Shopify website in a right way. Hope this video added some value to you. If it's so, feel free to thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. Hit the bell icon if you are new to this channel and comment me in comment box below if you have any questions or suggestions. Take care. Until next time. See you. Bye-bye.